I was like, mom, you know there's something called that. Oh my style. goodness. <laughs> You shall not do. Just pray. Just pray. Just pray. Just pray. You just pray. Take everything to God in prayer. Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Over Twenty Five. <laughs> if it's your first time here, which I highly doubt it is, but if it is your first time here, we are Over Twenty Five and we're basically on the road to 100k guys so a lot of yes. you who watch and don't subscribe please go to this button over here and hit subscribe it does help us when you subscribe to our youtube channel and of course if you like this video at whatever point please give us a thumbs up and leave a comment all right mm -hmm. um today we're doing the, the attachment style test um i'm not sure if you guys have heard of the the different attachment styles some of you have, some of you haven't. I think I brought no. it up to you guys the last yeah, time. You yeah, mentioned it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, it's 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 like the new. It's like oh my god, it's it's like the new love languages. You know? <laughs> okay, you know, but yeah. it's been there for a while. Now is when it's really, really, really taking mm. a lot of public interest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is this episode is actually inspired by the book I'm reading this month, which is known as Attached by Dr. Amir Levin and Rachel Heller. You can get this book. A textbook center, although the, there's only like two copies left in junction e only. <coughs> I can send I can send you an ebook. Audible? No, it is I listen to. Oh, you yeah. listen to yeah, books. I do yeah, yeah? Mm. I struggled with audiobooks. Because ah. I said enjoying podcasts so much, I said, let me try it. Yeah. Mm. But how can so you? Because are books, I go back, like I can read something and I highlight. And I highlight. Yeah. 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 So, but when, but podcast, I can miss something yeah. and it doesn't it's change. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, mm. with books, I'm like, ah, I need to read mm. okay. line for line. Mm. And be able to go back, you know. Um, okay. So, what attachment styles are? Let me read this definition okay. from scienceofpeople.com, which is where we'll be taking the test from. Mm -hmm. An attachment style describes your tendency and patterns of how you connect with people in your life, more so your romantic partners, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Um, there are three major attachment Tendencies styles. And patterns. Mm. Yes. Wow. Yes. It it's describes it yeah. describes it describes our tendencies and patterns of how we connect to the people in our lives. Okay. okay. Well, also not necessarily lovers. Not necessarily lovers, ah. but it's ah. most it's mainly it's mainly mm. lovers. Okay. Because okay. the okay. way I, I, I attach to people to my romantic partners is not this for me personally it's mm. not the same way attached to my true. my friend mm. true i feel yeah. like i'll discover things about, about yourself for the first time, for the yeah, first yeah. time. <coughs> yeah. True. but there is a disclaimer yeah. guys um I, and i always put disclaimers whenever you're doing all any of this kind of test like yeah. the personality test or the love language test yeah that this is not a this it describe it shows you it gives you an inclination of who you are but who you are in my personal opinion as much as attachment styles are connected to our childhood mm -hmm. and how we were brought up mm -hmm. and the availability or unavailability of our parents or caregivers, mm -hmm. also it's, it also con it's also contributed to by traumas you've had in your like for example in your relationships. Ooh. It affects how you attach. Okay. And, and people's attachment styles can change. Okay. Um, some are harder okay. to change. Some attachment styles are harder to change, but they can improve. Mm. All right. Okay. So just keep that in mind. But it's good to know how you are so that you can be like, oh, that's why I'm always like this. And people say, how come you, you all your exes say the same thing? Yeah. It's like, it's because of this, you know? Yeah. And it's like, it's nice. good to know it's not all your fault. Yeah. A lot of it is, be actually, it's not, it's all, all not your fault. Childhood and also life it's experiences. Yeah. 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 You know, but now you can be like, oh, now I can adjust, mm. right? So you have the awareness. You have, the, you awareness. have the awareness. So I think it's important to know, but I think the, the bad side of it is mm. that, like now me immediately, I was in chapter three. Everyone I looked at, I was like, What's your attachment style? Like I was trying to, and I get into this like almost yeah. addicted state of mind, oh, and that's yeah. I have to pull myself out and remember and real and you know even the person I'm, if you're seeing somebody now, you yeah. just be like, I wonder what uh, you're not even. I wonder what you're like. You're doing this because this this this. this. You start analyzing their behavior okay. too much. You start anal I started analyzing my father's behavior. I was like, so what was your attachment style? Is that why my attachment style is because of your attachment style and your father's attachment style? I was like, okay, you yeah. need to chill. Yeah. So you take everything that picture of salt mm. and you allow room for improvement. Noted. All right. So guys, what I want us to do is uh -huh. go on to sense of people.com. You can take this test wherever you want to do it. There's so many links on the, on the internet. 
I want each of us to take the quiz. Okay. Yep. And then after taking the quiz, we share our results. Yes. Yep. And then we also encourage other people to take the test. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, sh we'll, we'll share these links, you know? Yeah, we'll share so the link. can take the one that we've taken. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll be in the description box of this video. Awesome. Right. Awesome. All right. So it, there's a place where it says take, take the, the quiz. quiz. Let's go. Ready? Oh. And go. All right, so is everyone done? Yes. <laughs> Me, I have done this test before. So I am not surprised by my results. Yeah. But I do have to say this. Yeah. yeah. Your attachment style can change. So it's possible that at a younger age, you are attachment style this. Yes. But now your attachment style this because you've either become more anxious or more secure. All right. All right. Um, um, so it I'll also could be you could be different now and change later yes I mean, you can be different you yeah, can be what you are now and change later yeah. especially and it also depends a lot on your partner mm. as, and, mm. and, and the kind of partner so for example so because of the different attachment styles there's one main like the like the the good the two shoes one the best one which is yeah. secure yeah for somebody who, who who is with a secure person and you are not a secure attacher your you attachment become. starts becoming more secure because ah. they give you the stability and the reassurances that you've been begging for, dying for in your previous relationships. Okay. It is, so these things can evolve per partner, but if you if you really are keen with how you feel, yeah. you're able to see, regardless, yeah. you are kind of the same guy. Okay. Mm. Right. Okay. So I I have a rough idea about what each of us. Yeah. What, so I would like to know if I'm correct. Okay. But I'll start with this. Just <laughs> yes, I'll start with you coming this way. Guess them first. Guess, guess. Yeah, yeah, guess them first. So I would say, Lorna. Oh, I might be wrong. Though. Okay, let me just say, anxious, <laughs> preoccupied, or anxious. You are correct. <laughs> I am anxious. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Before you read, what anxious is? You're a true friend. I know because I, I know you. I mean, I'm not thinking about the relationship right now. Yeah. I'm thinking, I know our days. Yeah. Well, the things we used to talk about mm. and the things we used to go through, and I'm like, yeah. Okay. Um, Shiko, I would say you are secure. You're right. <laughs> I'm right? Yes. Yes. Um, wow. Ivy, I'm very uh, confused over, but uh, yeah. I'll say anxious. Yeah. Okay. I turned out anxious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Wow, right, so, Jules. So, so. My Jules. <laughs> Jules. <laughs> Jules. Oh, let me guess. Let me guess. Julia. Yeah. You're right. Do you know them? Do you know all of them? Anxious. The other one. One is two. It's the same. Oh. Uh. Anxious, <laughs> preoccupied, anxious, okay. but it's anxious. It's, the, yeah, it's, it's just yeah. the, a different name, different oh. people give the same attachment. So am I correct? Style. Yes, I am anxious. I even put it on my Instagram. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. So there are three main attachment styles, but they are, I'm sure this website has four, like mm -hmm. I told you. Mm -hmm. okay. we, you'll read your results, but I'm just okay. giving an FYI. The three main attachment styles are anxious, secure, and avoidant. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Um, then there's this there's an avoidant there's there's a there's a it's called what mm. the avoidant can also be anxious avoidant or anxious anxious fear uh, avoidant I fearful see, i see fearful avoidant yes anxious preoccupied yeah so anxious preoccupied is anxious okay then fearful avoidant fearful avoidant and secure and dismissive, dismissive avoidant. avoidant so this avoidant i know can be split into two but okay. they, but avoidant is avoidant in okay. general okay Got it. um so i'll let you guys i'll let you read for anxious yeah. mm. Um, and, and then you for read for, for secure, yeah. and then I'll let you read for avoidant, even right. though you're not avoidant, just okay. so that the audience can know what an avoidant Happy to. Attacher is. Happy to. All right, Lorna, okay. anxious. Lonzi, your attachment personality is anxious. It's almost, it's celebrated. <laughs> <laughs> it's bold. Yeah. <laughs> People who anxiously attach tend to worry more about their relationships. They are said to experience an emotional hunger and are desperate for a fantasy type of love. Mm -hmm. Unlike securely attached people, people with an anxious attachment tend to be desperate to form a fantasy bond of ideal love, even when this might not be possible to reciprocate. Okay. To, might not be possible or reciprocated, sorry. They tend to look for a partner who can rescue them or complete them. Unfortunately, their desperation sometimes can push away the exact person they want closeness with. When they are afraid of losing their partner, they can become clingy, possessive, paranoid, or need constant attention. And reassurance, yes. 
So those are anxious attachments. That's what I am. Mm. Okay. Um, but you have to understand these descriptions are very extreme. Mm. You know, doesn't mean yeah, in a relationship. Yeah. It yeah, doesn't mean in yeah. a relationship you're yeah. in a constant state of cleaning, clinginess, cleaning the assurance. Yeah. 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 No. But the main, the main, the main. Then that's why I I like books rather than websites, yeah. one pages, mm. because okay. this thing breaks it down mm. in a more coherent way, mm. where you're like, okay. I mean, I, I don't want is to there start... Is there a, uh, whatever summary on the book? Are there there is. Okay, mm-hmm. listen. So there are different... So, so, so I can't go into details because there's no one paragraph that mm-hmm. describes anxious. But let me just give you some encouragement. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> anxious <laughs> people it. crave intimacy, often preoccupied about their relationships and tend to worry about their partner's ability to love them back. Especially anxious anxiouses who are single, you're like typical. Because you're, mm-hmm. you know, like, you know, you're just like... Oh, you, you know you yeah when you're single you're more into that frenzy mm. but when you're in a relationship that is with a partner that's reassuring and yeah. secure then you that that activation system is mm. kind of placated mm-hmm. like it brings down the anxiety the amount of anxiety yes yes mm. but it's just that there's always there's a, there's always a feeling of what if they go and mm. in am i attractive enough or whatever mm. whatever it might be subtle whatever but if it's constantly there, yeah, it's just your attachment style. Okay. Um, but so I was saying I want to encourage you. But let me so let me read you something real quick. So this is a final word based on this book, guys. So don't get all the information from one book. Also, yeah. please do your own research. But mm. final word for anxious attachers: although you suffer the consequences of a bad match and an activated attachment system more intensely. You also stand to gain the most from understanding how the attachment system works. Which relationships have the capacity to make you happy, and which situations can make you a nervous wreck? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because of our innate ability mm-hmm. to want to be close with our partners mm-hmm. and okay. connect more. So okay. it's not all bad. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, there, there's there's gains to it. Okay. 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 All right. Got it. So mm-hmm. she. From, from okay. there you described it. I I can see. I can see. You can see. I can see. Yeah. <laughs> um. So Shiki, your attachment personality is secure. Mm-hmm. Mine is really short. Yeah, because you're just like the aspiration. <laughs> <laughs> I had Lonzi reading. I'm like, I, is there a more? <laughs> 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 so they say securely attached people tend to be less anxious and more satisfied with their relationships. Securely attached people have an easy time forming connections and have less doubt about the equality of the relationship. Mm-hmm. They also have an easier time reaching out for comfort. That's it. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. it. Short and sweet. Interesting. Short and sweet. That's and definitely sweet. you. Though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. I, and when I was thinking about you, I yeah. remember this one time in the pa- when I was like, what attachment cell is she called? Yeah. You know, I have to think of experiences you've had together. Me, I yeah. remember there's a time I asked mm-hmm. you back in the day before when you had Shazi. Yeah. I was like, she could do and she ever Kosana. I was trying to see, mm. compare my relationship with yours. Yeah. Then you said, yeah. And like, sometimes you feel like you just want to linger him mm. and not talk to him. Mm. And you said, yeah. I'm like, how, what's the longest you've gone without talking? Yeah. And you said like a day or two. Yeah. But my day or two is yeah. hell. Like you're dying, you're My dying. mental is not okay. Mm. Okay. But okay. here at the front, you will, the person will never know. Mm. I'm yes. really like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You do your own thing. Kwanza it's, you called, sure. it's called protest behavior. Mm. Okay. But I'm also, I'm also that way. Like Kwanza, that's when I'll make sure, you know, if I'm talking to someone on the phone, I yeah. laugh a little louder. Yeah. Mm. You know, just yeah. to show you're okay. <laughs> Yeah. 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 All right. Ivy is also anxious, oh, preoccupied, yeah. but she wants. She's going to read. We don't know the description of. We don't know how to find the. Because oh, we'll only it's down here. The four attachments. Oh, here we go. So you can see avoidance. Yes. Oh. And then just read what avoidance says. Avoidant attachers tend to be emotionally distant from their partners. They take pride in their independence and can see attachment as weakness. Okay. They like to process emotions on their own and don't like to share vulnerabilities with anyone else. Unfortunately, they tend to pull away when they need help most. They are not as attentive as their partners because they worry they will become too codependent and this will take away their independence. They can also shut down emotionally during arguments or close themselves off from feelings. This sounds a bit fuckboy like. It sounds like yeah. You feel like, even me, I'm like, that's oh, that's you. Me, I'm, exactly. I'm just read How Lorna. did that end I'm up just, being? <laughs> Oh, me, I'm thinking of it like that. Like, I'm like, what am I reading here? Mm, 
Mm. I would actually think that's Lana weird. would think, you know, if they Lana take pride in their independence and can see attachment as weakness. Mm. Mm. That sounds like yeah, Lana. no, but then I, I don't think. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but that maybe sounded like do what I think have been I think my... do. I, in fact, what I'll do is I'll mm. give you this because there's tests here in the book. Ah. Yeah. Mm. So look where you're seeing a written mm. with pencil mm. over here. Ah. So now you you do the test from the book. You okay. see where you land. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'd also like to take the test again. Yeah, yeah, but you see also. Yeah, but you see, but uh, but uh, but remember, yeah, I, yeah, I feel yeah. like you're in a secure relationship. That's why you moved to a more secure mindset. Mm-hmm. And that's what happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So because if she said avoidant. If you are if you're yeah. with an avoidant, if you are dating. Like I can, let's think of an ex we all hated that you dated. Uh, you probably yeah. this, and you're still together. Mm. You were fine, but you'd have turned out something. Oh, okay. Mm. You know. So your partner also, Ooh. your attachment style is your attachment style. Yes. Mm. But if you're dating a secure, okay. okay. So I'm I, I, anxious secure people so. are encouraged to find secure I partners. Yeah. yeah. Same to avoidance. So yeah. okay. But avoidance, avoidant it is possible. I'm not saying yeah. you have. Even, maybe even the results could be wrong. Yeah. yeah. But I, I don't see you as avoidant. Because mm. avoidant, first of all, marriage would not be at the top of your list. Ah. As quickly as you got oh, Kathy yeah. in Diallo's house, that would never have happened. Oh. Remember when we came to his house, I, could, I was yes. like, Lona, your presence is so here. Like the yes. two things in the bathroom, like and you were ready. Everything changed in that everything house. Everything changed. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been to this house before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, 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 so you are ready. You are ready for connection. The, the core. So each attachment style has a core uh. characteristic, which I don't okay. think you carry. Mm. This one now that I was saying in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Basically. Secure people feel comfortable with intimacy and are usually warm and loving. Anxious people crave intimacy and are often preoccupied by their relationships and tend to worry about their partner's ability to love them. Avoidant people equate intimacy with a loss of independence and constantly try to minimize closeness. Mm. Okay. In addition, people with each of these attachment styles differ in their view of intimacy the way they deal with conflict, running away, shutting down, okay. um, the, their attitude towards sex, their mm-hmm. ability to communicate their wishes and needs, the expectations from their partner and relationship. Now, you might have that thing of shutting down, mm. but that is one thing. Because one of the things they say is don't look at one, one attribute okay, okay, and okay. make it uh, okay. um, like uh, your, main, your main thing. Because mm. you might be like, but you shut down. Maybe that's because it's also personality thing, guys. Yeah. You know, we're both yeah. anxious, but we are very different personalities. Mm. Yes. When it comes to combat, I'm not afraid of yeah. confrontation. You yeah. want to talk about it? Let's do Let's it right go. now. Mm. Mm. But you, maybe you're just like, I don't want to conflict, so yeah. I'm done. Mm. So there's also yeah. okay. contributions yeah. That of, your, pers- of okay. your personality. Okay. that um Because you can find a very chill guy who is anxious, but you can also get a very hype guy who is mm. very anxious. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have two questions. Mm. Um, what influences attachment styles other than your previous relationships? Um, what if someone has never been in a relationship? How would they try and figure out what their attachment style is? Yeah. And then my second question is, um, even the quiz and everything, every th- the, the two questions are very skewed towards love and emotion mm. and your heart. They were not skewed towards like what happens in a true relationship where love is only one facet mm. and mm. then there's so many other things like the way Lona's they, you know bringing a pet building mm. a house together money stuff yeah. like that so those are, those are my thoughts stroke questions yeah. yeah so I'm not yet done with the book mm-hmm. but the place I've reached there's a, there's a place because that was actually one of my questions yeah. I, I, have, I was reading the book I was putting questions down and I was like so what is the what, what is the genesis of attachment styles mm. and basically mm. it is not clear but the theory is that your childhood, okay, okay mm-hmm. the, the how your parents responded to oh. stress when you cried, did okay. they leave you? Did you have to learn how to self soothe? Mm. So a lot of people have to learn to self soothe. Whoa. They this experiment with babies. So they leave a baby in a room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And lots of toys and them actually the mom is there with the baby. Oh yeah. Okay. yeah. And there's also a like the, I guess the shrink. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the yeah. all three of them are there. Mm-hmm. Without the ca- kid noticing the mom who leaves the room <laughs> silently. Okay. So the babies, the three babies in the three different, I mean, the, the babies, not the three babies, yeah. the different babies in the experiment, because okay. there were 100, they basically reacted in three main ways, okay. mm. which now were used to... Mm. After the mom has left. The mom has left. Without so the, the, the anxious baby, the minute they notice the mom is not there, yeah. oh my God, crying, 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 yeah. crying, crying, crying. Yeah. And then when the mom comes back, mm. they calm down. But yeah. they're still throwing toys around. Still have that protest sense. behavior. Because mm. like, how could you do this, you know? And then the secure, mm. I mean, the avoidant, <laughs> notices the mom has gone. Yeah. Mm. Carries on playing with the toys and mm-hmm. interacting with this other stranger. Yeah. 
Um, and when the mom comes back, they just, it's like nothing happened. Mm -hmm. But okay. they are on, those are my things, they connect to the babies. Uh, those are my wires. Yeah. yeah. The electro. The, the, the anxiety of the avoidant uh. is still the same as that of the anxious. But this one is able to... Oh, mask just to mask it. it. Yeah. To mask it and wow. to self-soothe in okay. a way that doesn't make them get hurt when the mother has gone. Yeah. I'm okay. I can still be okay kind mm. of thing. Okay. And then there's now the secure. I can't remember how the secure was. I think the secure was happy to see the mom and happy to say bye. Mm. Bye, see you later. And then you oh, come wow. high. There's mm. no crazy mm. per se. Okay. Mm. Um, but the book does say, yes, childhood contributes, but uh, but also life experiences, relationship experiences, mm -hmm. like your, your, your experiences in relationships. Because mm -hmm. you have people who become anxious, and that could be such a, that, in fact, they said in the book, this is yeah. the, uh, the biggest loss for you to move from secure to oh, anxious. Wow. But life can throw you things that yes. makes you anxiously attached. You yes. fear losing, you fear your worth, you question your worth mm -hmm. in the relationship, your... your your, your okay. the stability of the relationship is always something you're pondering upon. Mm. Yeah. So so yeah, it's okay. it's a mixture of nature and nurture is what they say. Mm -hmm. But they do say it you can improve. Okay. You can you can become more secure. Mm. Okay. And there's people out there who even don't believe in these attachment styles, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Mm. The people who say, ah, this is all. Mm. So it's really up to you. Story. You do your research and you decide is this something I'm taking or I take with a pinch of salt. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. okay. Yeah. So people generally are trying. You're trying to move towards being secure. To be mo to be more secure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Closer towards being. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and people who are anxious and people who are avoidant are encouraged to date secure uh -huh. people. Avoidants rarely date each other. Mm. Two, but two anxious people can date each other. Might not mm. be the most best relationship, but the most toxic is that avoidant and mm. anxious. Uh, ooh. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's even called the mess. anxious avoidant trap because the more this person does not give them reassurance, ooh. the more crazy yes. they get and then the more they retreat. Yes. Oh, so, oh, and then so this no, avoidant so, 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 gives a little bit of, okay, fine, let's talk. And then the, the anxious things, everything mm. okay, but they're like, but. Yeah. Mm. Really, you know? <laughs> so, so yeah. they encourage people to avoid, avoid uh, anxious people to avoid mm. avoidance at, if they can at all costs. Okay. But a lot of people are in marriages with avoidance. So they, mm. if both are aware and want to improve the relationship, it can be done. Mm. Good. Yeah. So, so love and trust, I guess. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's love and trust. I'm just going to read this one of Fearful Attachment, which yeah. is the yeah. fourth one. Yeah. Yes. This book focuses on three, but it does acknowledge this fourth one. Okay. But they say at the end of the day, it's still a avoidance. Mm. Okay. Um, so Fearful Attachment, also called as also known as disoriented or disorganized. This is one of one to five percent of population, so it's not very many people. Mm -hmm. These children seem to volley between desperately needing their parents and pushing them away. People will, with this kind of attachment live in an ambivalent mindset where they swing from being afraid to connect to overanalyzing the equality or depth of their relationships. They tend to get overwhelmed easily and have unpredictable moods. At one moment, they can smother their partner, and at the next, they can disappear for a day or two without Wait. explanation. So it's hectic. Yeah. <laughs> sounds, it sounds hectic. <laughs> Do you have any thoughts? I mean, I gave my thoughts. Yeah. Mm, I gave my thoughts. Yeah. I definitely think I have to take the test again. Because yeah. I'm feeling like, I don't know. But I've learned that maybe I actually just don't know myself. Mm. I'm not mm. sure. I'm not okay. sure. I do I do get the anxiety a little bit. But I'm wondering if it's something that I've always had or it's something that the relationships I've been in have made me. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. I think it might be. The, yeah. The it's probably a mix, a mix mm. of both. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And, and Oh, I was going to tell you, by the way. Yeah. So the anxious is also can be also if you if you've been in a secure relationship for a long time and used to be anxious, you might be so secure until you don't even realize you used to be anxiously attached mm. i feel like that's what you know as I was, as I was reading the questions i was trying to compare their relationships i was comparing mm -hmm. my current and uh, two others and i feel like that could be mm, you that could be me yeah i feel like mm. earlier if you asked if i did this in my early 20s and mm. i've turned out anxious mm. uh, but because of being in this relationship for this long mm. i feel like that's what has taken me and it's a very stable emotionally yeah. stable yes yes yeah it's not a more like argue, one. You, uh, you don't even argue you just say <laughs> And I'm beefing with this one. I'm like, it must be so nice to beef, and then they're all hanging out, and we can't even tell. Yeah, and I remember the time we were out. We we're out together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, you and told I told me, you, I told you we're not talking, and you're like, but when, when, Wait, how? We're yeah, out okay. together. Yeah. Be when I beef with my partner. My friends will know. Let me tell you what. How can I even hide them? What? Yeah, because <laughs> I remember telling you that we had we had fought like a very intense yeah. fight, but here in the ear. In the ear. Yeah, I was seeing the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very intense Drink fight. Yeah. 
But you guys love you you fight fairly. Me let me just. Me I think we've learned, learned we've you. learned how to fight fair. Yeah. In fact, yeah. me to me, I even feel like suc- the success of a relationship is determined by how well you're able to yeah. maneuver conflict resolution. Yeah. Based yeah. on my yeah. personal experience, I'm not saying this anywhere, but yeah. I just feel like the pa- how you fight. How I fight? completely agree what? with you. It, yeah. can, it can mess up your relationship because yeah. conflict is completely inevitable. You mm. cannot avoid it. Which yeah. is at the end of the day, communication. How you communicate yeah. with each other. How you communicate yeah. with each other. Mm. Whether it's good how times or bad times. How do you fight? How do how you when you're happy? How mm. are you when you how do you communicate throughout your feelings and your yeah? Hmm. All right, guys. How do you okay. Communicate during sex. How do you communicate? During yeah, sex? your communication, communication. in general. Mm. I agree. Are you happy you did the test? Well, I'm a bit yes, confused. Yes, I, 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 I want to do it again. Well. I, me, I would, I would, I would like, I'd like to look for a longer paragraph. Yeah, yeah. On mine. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look me, for a longer paragraph. Feel like I'm in the middle of two. Like yeah. If there was an anxious. You're anxiously secure. Anxious. Yeah. No, <laughs> the other one. Oh, anxious avoidant. avoidant. So was, uh, can you be anxiously avoidant? I don't know. Or avoidant. Uh, Listen, what we'll do is we will we'll do the test from the book yeah 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 because yeah, it's much more detailed okay mm-hmm. so even you guys as much so as to we have yeah to me to to be chance how the easiest way without <laughs> assuming the book, the the book. i'll send you a picture okay, okay. and guys mm. yeah like i've said do this test but t- everything you get from the internet and you read from the internet take it yeah. to the pinch of salt now don't take it to be your identity yeah, yeah. Now i was like <gasps> My father and my mother are the fault <laughs> of all this. <laughs> and it's like, what are you doing? Like, no, I had to like really step back. The yeah. first two weeks, I was the full anxious now. Yeah. I was like, mom, you know, there's something called that. Oh, my style. goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you should not do it. Just pray. Just, just pray. pray. You, know, you just pray. Take everything to God in prayer. <laughs> yeah, like, like, but I'm so, I'm so like, anxious. This is such a great excuse for someone who is trying to get out of a relationship they Who's can avoidant. say uh, yeah they can just say me i'm an avoidant i've done the test this is who I yeah am. i know and you have to do yeah. it but you know the thing is avoidance also want intimacy they want it mm, so okay, much yeah, but yeah, then yeah. they yeah. have this thing mm. and by the way the people who benefit most from kind of this book or this information are anxious yeah. because anxious they are very affectionate very loyal fiercely loyal okay. very affectionate very giving very loving mm. um so for them to move to a more secure attachment is easier mm. than an avoidant moving to secure because they don't oh, even yes, then they, don't they want, want to be in a relationship mm. they are in, they need intimacy yeah. but they are constantly creating a gap yeah or our exit intimacy. route mm. okay because they they want intimacy because human needs intimacy but at the mm. same time they're just like ah it's getting uncomfortable Mm. And there's much. something called the fearful avoidant trap, which is why I know why I'm always attracted to avoidance or, oh. or, or find myself in avoidant relationships. Interesting. Majority of them, not all of them. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. And if you've liked it, please remember to give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, share this episode with all your family and friends. Yes. Have fun with it. Don't take it too seriously, guys. This is not going to be. It's not supposed to be your lifelong identity. Yeah. And as per usual, because this is Road to 100K. Subscribe. It's free. It's free. (laughs) Bye. Bye. Over 25. Subscribe.